Over this video, I'm going to show you how I use Perplexity's AI agent to do financial research, content creation research, sales-based research, product-based research, and general research in general. So excited to get started. Let's get in. Perplexity is really underrated when it comes to AI agents. You can see I have a list of agents that I very frequently use. And trust me, I've stopped using Google and ChatGPT post I started using Perplex. Now, the reason is simple. On Google, I can search for something, but the next step of summarization is my job on chat gpt i can get something but the next job of making a sense of it or doing something with that data or reading about on various sources is again my job so what agents allow you to do is kind of you know modularize these smaller tasks and build a workflow that for example first research about the topic second actually you know summarize the topic and third publish it somewhere now on perplexity you can do first two of these obviously perplexity perplexity does not currently offer you the potential to also publish your content but it does allow you to do the first two things in the story which is research and write content for you and i'm sure at some point when this agents get mainstream you will be able to do all three of these just to give you a quick overview how this looks like so there is the workflow then there are agents one two three and so on then there are tasks that are assigned to that agent and then there are the tools to make this familiar to you so there is the marketing department which is the workflow or the process and then there is marketing manager seo manager and so on and so so forth who is like an agent for or inside this department then there are tasks for each of those departments now these tasks could be content writing keyword research or research in general for each of these tasks or skills you have tools so if you are a video editor you need certain tools to edit videos if you are a researcher you need certain tools to edit oh sorry or you need certain tools to research your content and let's say this tool could be perplexity google and so on and so to give you a high level of how this would look like is there is a workflow then there are agents then there are multiple skills and then there are pieces of code or tools that are at work in order to solve the problem so over this video as well i'm going to show you five powerful collections that i use personally on a day-to-day -day basis to automate a lot of what i do on say content creation newsletter writing or using or just learning about new things in general so the first one i'm going to show you is youtube description generate so this is one of the recent videos and you can see there is a description well written description here about what i'm talking in the video itself now in the post ai world what i used to do is i used to manually write all of it. so what i would do is i would research about what the topic is you know write some piece of content and then optimize my description to suit what the video is about this obviously kind of is an effort that is now unnecessary thanks to ai so how i use perplexity is very simple so i've set up like an agent that will accept a topic and generate the youtube description for me so let's say i want to write about perplexity ai agents now this is for this video the description that i'm showing you is for this video let's plug this in what this you know agent will do is basically just look through web with respect to what the topic is and then generate the description like i do in the format that i usually uh, you know publish the video and you can see in the first three line there is the link to the course which is recommended by google because you know if the description is minimized you will still be able to see the link and then there are other link and then there is the description about what the topic is then there are relevant hashtags and then there is a so if you look at the generation here very aligned with what i usually do so it will take you know the initial part of the paragraph will talk about what i am teaching and then will promote the course then there is the you know link to all of the resources or places that they the users can then follow me and you know then it talks about the actual detail about the topic which is the perplexity ai in here and covers everything that i need to know it also add links to the relevant places so i can reuse this whenever necessary it also gives tags that i can use in the video so there is an option to add tags i think i don't know if you see it here but you can add tags so that the discovery of video is improved so that's also something that i've configured the agent to do and i use this very regularly so let's say i want to talk about google genie ai so this was recently announced and i have a short video with respect to what this is again this will look through whatever is available again it's possible that you know the data that you're looking for is not out there in which case it won't be able to help as much but in this scenario you can see it did find a bunch of sources that talk about ai genie and then it's kind of 
of covering the description here just like we expected it so this is the first agent that i use very regularly and trust me this is just one of the examples of things that you can do with perplex let me show you another example so the next one i use more frequently is the newsletter cover effectively whenever i am researching about certain topics this newsletter cover helps me kind of bring the details about the topic in one place so let's say i want to talk about snappy ai right what this newsletter cover would do is give the high level description of what the tool is then the stats about the topic and then the final summary of the topic itself i do this you know for a lot of the content that i create for my newsletter obviously it's not going to be just copy and paste you would still read through this add your own thoughts but this helps me not only do research but do the research and get the answer in the format that i want to add in the newsletter so you can see it's talking about snappy ai being revolutionary tool and then it's talking about stats and bullets then the business use cases and then why it matters right so this is if you read my newsletter you would sometimes see this format and i typically use this for on off use cases where the topic itself is straightforward and perplexity can kind of help me cover the topic for you so this is the second agent i use and it's very very helpful for all the research purposes so the first one you saw is basically would do research and create consistent documents the second one is it would generate the output in the format Mad that you're looking for with these sources so that you can actually verify if the data that is coming to you is correct third you can also kind of read about the from a sales standpoint you can also use the perplexities agent to do some research about the customer prior to you going on a call with them so in this scenario what we are putting is the name of the founder that we are going to be speaking to and the company they are from effectively what happens now is perplex going to look through the internet to find details with respect to this founder itself and then put together you know the final output with respect to the profile of the company the profile of the founder and anything any recent new that was featured for the company itself so you can see it's kind of talking about where the company is based it's talking about founders again it it is looking at all the data that is available out there so it's possible that it throws out some wrong information now in this scenario there is this other guy that was mentioned and it seems like this guy it is he is associated with this domain in some capacity in the past or was associated in the past so again it kind of digs data with respect to the history as well and then it's kind of giving you the profile of the founder and then finally you know it's also kind of talking about the hobbies so it's building in public coding and marketing his journey projects broader audience indicating a passion for teaching sharing knowledge and engaging it's also talking about recent news which was not found no wonder i'm not that famous but you can see it's going to give me all the details about the person and the company so if you're now call with someone before you are on a call with that person you already have some information with to who that person is what their profile is and you already know certain bits of detail about the person itself the fourth use case of this agent is from a financial standpoint so what this will do is it, it will accept the name of the stock and do the financial research for you for that stock so let's say we type amazon now this is going to look for the amazon stock in whatever market it's able to find and then it's also kind of asking things specific you would want to focus upon i'm just going to keep it open it and give me all the details now note this is going to give me scores as well as far as my configuration goes i'm going to show you prompts for each of these as well later on so that you can set this up for yourself and you can see it kind of does analysis on the fundamental story the financial state the earning profitability valuation metric and then other details right and then it also kind of generates the final score based on the analysis that it was able to do online for us so these were the sources that it referred for the analysis and then based on that it's generating score for each again this is a simple use case of ai but again if you are someone who's investing money and wants to do proper research before you invest in a company this can give you the first cut analysis with respect to what that company is how their financials look like and if you should really be knowing about certain problems about the company and then finally deciding to to or not invest based on whatever data it shared with you you can click on any of these and deep dive and continue to learn more about what each of these mean the next agent that i'm going to be also talking about is the topic idea suggester again more on the line content creation or post creation so for example if you are building youtube videos and you need new topic ideas with respect to what to create next so let's say i want to make more videos on perplexity ai what this topic idea suggester would do is would look up other popular videos or ideas space and then will give me like a bunch of topics that i can potentially create a video on with the score 
score for each topic i think yeah you can see it's giving out score comparing perplexity ai with versus chat gpt then for academic research building a chatbot with perplexity ai for content creators and then there is text generation writing assistance and more and so on and so forth so it can do bunch of things for you it can also work for content creators who say are on linkedin or twitter and so on so if you have content ideas this is exactly how you would leverage this so again this is more on the lines of content creation and anyway, so i'm just going to finally show you one more important use case this is more on the lines of academic research so if you're someone who's doing academic research or reading through papers you know if not read through papers perplexity ai can actually shortlist certain papers for you to refer and then choose which ones you want to deep dive into right so let's say impact of ai on work so we what we can do here is that we can use wolfram alpha or academic and dive specifically in the in that specific domain with in our cases academic research and get suggestions only from that so it's not going to look through the entire internet so rather it's going to only look through the websites where it would be able to find relevant academic so you can see impact of generative ai on work and it's looking at semantic scholar and archive i think archive so again these are all the sources it went through 25 sources it's then kind of summarizing everything that it found from the summary of those papers so again you i mean you can't rely completely on this because this is going to just look at the outside so what i mean by that is it's going to look at this and not actually go inside the pdf so that is still something that you'll have to do at this point of time until the agent reaches reaches a point where it can also deep dive into papers and you know generate the output for you you can obviously click on any of these links or papers download the pdf read it here and then deep dive into those pdfs but as of right now it is only looking at you know looking at the summary and and generating the out say top five papers to know which one to read but again it's not going to dive into papers rather it's going to give you the sources for those paper and in this specific scenario it's not even going to shortlist because it's very challenging because there are so many papers out there anyway so these are five top cases that i do with perplexity ai agents there's something that you want to look at from the ai agent standpoint but on a no code side let me know and i'll check if there's something's possible there but as of right now i hope this did add value to you and i'll see you guys in the